Here, we have an AutoCAD solid of a 700mm diameter 90 degree ductile line duct foot bent and a single poly line representing the centre of the pipe. Before we progress any further, I'm going to ensure that our model is set to millimetres by typing units into the command line. Next, we need to identify the start and end of the components for where the pipes are going to connect into. We do this by going to the Insert tab and selecting Insert under the Connection Point menu. The command bar will then ask you to select a point of insertion and a direction of the connection. We shall repeat the process for the other end. Now that we've identified our connection bits, we can export the model by typing Publish Part Content into the command line. Selecting the solid which will momentarily disappear, and then select the polyline. Choose the units and then identify what type of component, in this case an elbow, we want to create. Now save the .content file in a centralised library location with a relevant name. Using the Civil 3D Content Catalog Editor, we're going to amend a custom created ductile iron library. By selecting a specific category, we can use the Import Part tool, enabling us to insert our created components from the previous step. Next, we can assign a part type and which category we want the component to be listed under. Now we need to populate the parameters which control the geometry and calculations, such as angle, material, radii, pressure class, and so on. The items with an asterisk next to them are the ones we must apply data to. Finally, we must populate the data for the connection points so that Civil 3D can determine what pipe size and material to expect when using the part. To import our custom component, we must first ensure Civil 3D is reading the correct database. We do this by going to Create Design, Set Pressure Network Catalog and navigate to the folder where your SQLite file is stored. Now we've set the pressure catalogue, we can import our component into our pressure network parts list. We do this by right-clicking on the relevant list and selecting Edit. Here, we can see all the components that are currently available in the file. As you can see, we're missing our 700DN duck foot elbow. To import this, right-click on the category and select Add Size, then put a tick in the Add All Sizes option. Our elbow has now appeared, and we can sort the parts in alphabetical order by right-clicking the category and selecting Sort Parts. Click Apply and select OK to exit the part list. Now our custom part is available for us to use in our model. 